Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amanda. One of the questions that I get from some of my friends and people who are newer to backpacking is what clothes to bring and how much and all that stuff. And so in this video, we're gonna go over all of the things that I bring for a typical spring, summer, or fall backpacking trip. So let's start off with the sports bra underwear situation and socks. So I have a sports bra or a normal bra and I will hike in either one of those depending depending on what I'm feeling like. Honestly, for me, a normal bra is more comfortable. And if I don't suspect there's gonna be a lot of high impact, then I usually will just hike in that and then bring this along to change into later in the day. Or if I get really sweaty, then I have this option as well. For underwear, I just recommend bringing something that is not cotton. Synthetic works really well. A lot of shorts actually have built-in underwear and you can always rinse those out if you're hiking to a lake or a river. I don't really stress too much about that. Just grab a couple pairs of really lightweight synthetic underwear and you're usually good to go. For socks, I highly recommend this brand called Stance. I'll link to them in the description below. Nothing in this video is sponsored. This is all just my own actual gear. But here's a pair of their hiking socks that I use all the time. Like I said, they're the only ones I buy. They're synthetic, they're moisture wicking, they dry really quickly, and they just really hold up to the test of time. I've had one pair for several years now, worn them on so many hiking trips, and they're still great. Next up, we're going to talk about what to wear on your hike. Weather will play into what exactly I choose, but here are some of the things that I usually consider. So what I'm wearing right now, if you've seen any of my vlogs from this past summer, I wear this on every single trip. It is like my go-to hiking shirt, no matter what the temperature is really, like this is basically what I wear on the base layer. It has SPF protection. This is made by Patagonia. Again, I'll link to it below. It has a little sun protection hood, and I love just putting this on. It's it's moisture wicking and I know I'm protected with the sun. I don't need to load up with sunscreen. This is an awesome option. Another thing is just like a little synthetic t-shirt like this or even a tank top. For the bottoms, if it's hot, I'm wearing shorts usually. These are also by Patagonia. I love these shorts. They have a little pocket in the back and little built-in underwear. And if it's colder, then I will wear pants. For pants, there are several options. I personally wear like a yoga pants style. I'll usually just grab something like these, like capris that are nice and tight, moisture wicking, synthetic fabric. You just kind of want to avoid cotton. And the reason for that is that cotton doesn't dry quickly. Don't want to be cold while you're wearing wet, sweat filled clothing. So I always gravitate towards synthetic or wool. So yoga pants. And then this is just another option of yoga pants. A little caveat with this is these are going to get roughed up on the trail. And so I wouldn't recommend wearing like your favorite $100 pair of yoga pants on your hike because depending on where you're going I mean there's cacti there's logs and rocks or whatever so like they might get beat up they're not going to be the longest durability option out there so I brought some other things that might be more your style these are by Athleta and these are just their trekking pant they are a lot more tough material they have some pockets so these will kind of be more durable out on the trails in addition these prana pants they have tons of different styles of these and they're just yeah really durable they have these little like knee extra knee padding areas and so there's a couple options depending on what you're doing and just what you're most comfortable in but like I said for me it's usually the yoga pants moving on to the mid layer this is all about warmth I personally will always add extra weight in my pack for the sake of comfort I don't care <laughs> if it's a little heavier I would rather be warm it totally sucks when you're in the back country and you're cold and there's nothing that you can do about it. So I err on the side of caution here. My main mid layer that I always bring is one of these Patagonia fleeces. You guys know how much I absolutely love these. They come with me everywhere and the great thing about this is it's soft and if it is a hotter trip you can use this as a little pillow. So I always have this and then if I'm colder I will bring this and layer on top of the fleece. So this is a little Patagonia nano puff adds an extra layer of warmth and again if you don't need this you can use it as a pillow and then if it's going to be colder I will bring yet another puffy jacket here and layer all three of these things like I said I really don't like to be cold and these are great because they all compress down in your pack they don't take up a lot of room and they're pretty lightweight 
Another option for this layer would be a vest. So if you kind of aren't one of those people that's always cold, maybe a vest is a really good mid layer here because your arms will still be out. But I still recommend at least bringing like another jacket to layer with. Better safe than sorry is what I say. Moving on to rain gear. Always have a rain jacket. I don't really ever bring rain pants because I've just never needed them. But I always bring a rain jacket even if I'm not suspecting that it's going to rain because this will also be a nice windbreaker. So again, I can layer some of these mid layers and then put this on top and that will just kind of prevent any wind from coming through and add an extra layer of warmth. So it's always a good idea to bring one even if you're not suspecting it's going to rain. Moving on to sleepwear. I recommend that you always bring basically something to sleep in that you don't wear during the day because you want to get into your tent in nice dry clothing. So one pair of socks to sleep in, stance socks again, they come in cool little patterns. Depending on how cold I'm expecting the trip to be I will vary up what I bring here I have a pair of wool like long underwear and these are kind of my go-to pair if I think it's going to be colder I have these fleece lined pants that are even warmer and then for tops again two different options this is a wool layer very light so if it's a warmer trip this is a good one and then this is a little bit of a heavier version of sleepwear that keeps you nice and warm when you're in the tent. And then lastly are some accessories. A lot of my jackets and stuff have hoods. So that's like always what I look for in a jacket. But if they don't, a hat is a good idea. And a hat is just a good idea if you think it's gonna be cold anyway. And then some gloves also if you think you're gonna be chilly, those might come in handy. So there you have it. These are all of the things that I consider when I am packing for my backpacking trips. Of course, the length of your trip and the distance and the weather will all factor into how much I bring of this but in general I just kind of keep my hiking clothes pretty simple and I'll wear the same pants or shorts or shirt for a few days and then really focus on these mid layers because then you can layer up or layer down depending on the temperature and then the last thing to really consider is just making sure you pack a nice pair of clothes and socks to sleep in only and that will make sure you stay nice and warm if you like this video make sure to subscribe and share it with your friends I have tons of backpacking resources and if you you have questions let me know in the comments because i will totally make a new video for you answering anything that you need help with i love you and i'll see you in the next video